Hey folks, Necro Black here of the Necro Black Vlogs, number 13. Wow, lucky number 13. Crazy. And uh, before I do anything, before I talk about the subject matter at hand, you like my little <laughs> mohawk? Yeah, it was supposed to be one of the fat mo the the fat mohawk, the frohawk, but uh, eh. <laughs> and my hair just grew, so you know, trying to even it out. <laughs> it still looks freaking retarded. Um. Anyway. Uh, what is this vlog going to be about? What is this vlog going to be about? Ah, I know what it's going to be about. Uh, it's going to be about four things. Count them, four. <sighs> Love. Loss. Acceptance. Life. Four things that all go hand in hand. Four things that are all important to people in their daily lives. I mean, you can have the love of family, you can have the love of friends, but I'm talking about the love of someone who you wish to be with. Now, before I go into the, to the actual message that I want to convey, maybe I should give you a little background. The last two years have been pretty crazy. All started because of an ex. Um, wound up hooking up with... Uh, well, my current ex wound up hooking up with her last summer. She broke up with me in the spring. And I can admit that I kind of messed up because at the end, I kind of didn't really go see her as often as I should have. But it was because of my work schedule and it was because also of my finances, which um, I did go to see her every once in a while. And I, I would have preferred to have seen her, you know, more, much more more than how I had seen her at the time but um, it was also because of the fact that she felt that uh, I was trying to force myself into getting into the whole idea of marriage because we had both been with each other for, you know for, for a good amount of time and we both felt like damn this was the this could be the one but she pretty much had set what she wanted um, she was already a family woman she already had three kids and <clears throat> she felt like I was conforming myself into the concept of being married becoming a family man and you know instantly raising kids and everything and uh, I mean I could kind of see where she was coming from damn it my mohawk looks stupid ah. Ah. okay whatever uh, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm thinning on this side. I'm only 29, why am I thinning? Uh, why is it so full on this side? Uh, anyway, uh, but, um, I can kind of see where she was coming from, but it was also because of the fact that, uh, I kind of wanted a family. And I was already reaching the age where I should have been having kids anyway. I was 28. Or I was going on 28 at the time. Well, actually, no. I was 28 when she broke it off for me. I'm 29. Turned 29 like 17 days ago. <laughs> October 10th, baby. Woohoo! So, um, after that, I had taken some time. I had to take some time for myself because it messed me up a little bit. It messed me up emotionally, mentally. I was just fried but um I wound up taking this other girl under my wing and by taking her under my wing I mean she was going through some stuff on her own oh wow I spent four minutes talking about this and in helping her I kind of helped myself and while I was helping her I kind of fell for her really bad so, it, it got to a point where, well, now we're very close. We're still very close, but it got to a point where she would tell me I love you, and I would tell her I love her, and we meant two totally different things, obviously. And when I t told her about this, she pretty much politely shot me down. 
which sucked. It did. It did. It really did. But, um, hey, what are you going to do, right? So, um, I, after that, it kind of made things a little awkward for, for a little time, for a little while, a little tiny while. But, uh, eventually we got past it and we stood friends. We're still very close. Very, very, very fucking close. And, uh, now I'm just concentrating on myself, waiting for, well, not really waiting, just doing me. Because if I don't do me, I don't take care of what I gotta take care of, I'm never gonna be happy. You know what I mean? And that entails, that, that leads into what the subject of this vlog is about. See, I went through all four things. I was in love. Damn, it's hot in this apartment. I fucking hate living over the boiler. Uh, <laughs> I was in love. I experienced loss. Both with the current ex, because she broke it off for me. And with the girl that I, uh, had fallen for. The other girl that I had fallen for, which she pretty much shot me down. And I got to the point of acceptance, because... We're all still great friends. I'm still good, very, very good friends with my ex. I actually spoke to her via text earlier today. And um, I'm living my life. Living it. See, I know I'm not the only person that's gone through a situation like this. And that's why I'm posting this vlog up. My advice to you, if you've ever gone through a situation like this, or if you ever do go through a situation like this, is this. You see, you can never, 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 never stop living. Never. You know why you never stop living? You stop living because you couldn't get one thing. What's the point of waking up? You see, it's like this. If you were a little kid, say you were a little kid, and we're up to like 7 minutes and 30 mark. So. You're a little kid. You see your favorite toy. You see a, a cool, cool, cool ass toy. Not your favorite toy, but you, you, it would become your favorite toy if you had it. And your parents couldn't afford to get it. Does that mean that you can't have fun anymore? No. It doesn't mean you can't have fun anymore. There's still your old toys. And who's to say you won't get that toy eventually down the line? Or who's to say you won't find a better toy somewhere down the line, or a toy just as cool somewhere down the line. You go out there and you do you, you have your fun. Me, what I'm doing, I'm getting back into the wrestling game because I took about an 11 month hiatus. I just wrestled on Sunday. Um, first match in 11 months. And next weekend I'm actually uh, running, or one of the people running uh, my uh, our own wrestling show, uh, which is Your Pro Wrestling at yourprowrestling.com. Come check it out. And uh, and after the day after that, I'm wrestling again. And sometime later on in the month in, of November, I'm, I'm wrestling again. So, you know, even though I didn't get what I wanted as far as a relationship, I still wound up with great relationships. Because I'm still very close with the people that I wanted to be with. And I was still able to maintain doing what I wanted to do in my life. Why? Because I didn't let whatever happened happen. You know, whatever happened get me down. I can't. I have too many things, too many things going for me. Why let one thing spoil it? I mean, to be honest with you, it's really not worth losing your head over so losing your head over something that maybe would have been good and maybe it wouldn't have been you know it's not worth losing my head over why I've got so many other things in my life that need my concentration need my focus and need me to be 100% and if I can't have one thing it doesn't mean I can't be 100% it just means I can't have that one thing so be it Besides, 
like I said, just to say down the line, things don't change. Just to say down the line, I don't find someone else that catches my eye, and they feel the same way about me as I would feel about them. It's all about keeping your head up and staying hopeful, but always keeping yourself grounded in reality. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to help all of you, but it's something that I live by. It's a mantra that I live by. And uh, honestly, it's something I will continue to live by. So with that being said, people, my final thing to you is this. Life is too short to worry about one thing. Way too short. Live your life. Have fun. Go out there and be you. Because if you're not, well, then what's the point of trying? Right? <laughs> anyway, uh,. That's pretty much been the vlog. That's pretty much the vlog right there. And, uh, yeah. Being that this is the first time I've actually recorded a vlog like this. In this very nature. Uh. In a long time. I guess I should end it the same way I usually end it. Until next time. I am Necro Black. The Beastly One. The F66 Party Animal and VF's favorite luchador. And uh, before I'm out, remember to check out your pro wrestling here on Yahoo. And uh, check us out at www.yourprowrestling.com. We're having our first show called uh, Epilogue, which will be on iPay-Per-View probably by December. If you don't happen to come to the show. But if you're in the New Jersey area, come check us out. 90 Fleet Street, Jersey City, New Jersey. 07306. 8 p.m. start time for the show. Tickets are $15 pre-sale. $20 at the door day of the show. And uh, as always, I will be there. <laughs> I will be there. I'll probably walk through the crowd and greet you. So... If, uh, if anything, come check us out and um, stay tuned for the next Necro Black vlog, which I might actually be making into a multi-part one because I kind of have a kind of have a thing with uh, wanting to go talk to a couple of people down on Wall Street. Anywho, I'm out. Peace.